Hi everyone, this is a complete guide to connect Epson Ecotank L3270 to Wi-Fi networks. In this video I'm going to show you all connection methods uh, set up on any kind of devices answering common questions as they come up. So let's get right into it. First, make sure the printer is powered on and the power indicator is glowing solid and nothing else is glowing or blinking on the control panel. If the printer is sleeping, like now, you need to press the cancel button to wake up the printer. Now the indicator is solid and you can proceed to set up. The easiest way to connect your printer to Wi-Fi is WPS connection. Uh, to enable WPS mode, you need to press and hold Wi-Fi button on the control panel until you see the blinking and taking turns Wi-Fi indicators. Like now. Now you can release the Wi-Fi button on your printer and take your rotor. Find WPS button on its body. It's here in my case and just press it once and then wait for about 1.5 minutes. Uh, the upper Wi-Fi indicator should turn solid. It means the printer is connected to your Wi-Fi network broadcasted by this rotor. If you don't have physical WPS button on your rotor, it doesn't mean there is no WPS feature in your rotor at all. You just need to access the rotor's web interface or smartphone application and find WPS feature over there. If WPS connection in your rotor requires pin code, first you need to press and hold Wi-Fi and cancel buttons on your printer together until these indicators start uh, taking turns and blinking one by one and then release the buttons and use the pin code connection you can find the required pin code on this lid here it is so enter this pin code and your printer will be connected to wi-fi next to add your printer to a smartphone make sure the smartphone is connected to the same wi-fi network as your printer you can be connected to 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz or dual band network the point is to be connected to the same rotor or mesh system as your printer uh, next install epson smart panel it's available both in app store and google play store so install this app open it agree to the terms and conditions Press OK in the next window. Now it's searching for the printers. Uh, in this window, just, just click Next. Allow to use your location while using app. It's necessary. On the next screen, you have to allow to find devices on local network. And now your printer is found right away. Just tap on its name. And connection is complete. Just so simple. Now you need just to select the application interface, use cards or use tiles. Personally, I prefer tiles. To me, it's much better. Now you are using the latest firmware, but if you see an update option over here, just do it. Uh, so from this application, you can print, scan documents, make copies. But let's continue on computer as well. To connect this printer to a Windows computer, you I need to install some software. It's a little bit more tricky than on smartphones, but don't worry, I will show you everything. So you need to open a web browser and search for Epson L3270 support or drivers like this. So go to this website and in this drop down, select your operating system, Windows 11 in my case, if it's not selected automatically and click on go. Uh, next, for Windows users, uh, install Epson product setup. For Mac users, expand product setup and install Epson software updater because on Mac computers this is a little bit simpler. So for Windows users, let's install this one. Download. Once downloaded, open the file. Just one, click once. Click yes in this window. You can minimize or close your browser. Now the app is launching and before continuing to make things easier, first I recommend you to add the printer to your printing system manually. Uh, to do this, click on the start menu uh, and start typing printers and scanners. So select this option, click on add device and make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer, add device. Your printer is found, add device one more time and wait for, for connection. 
Well, now it's connected. You can minimize the settings and continue in the application. Uh, so click on accept here, confirm your action. Uh, these agreements are optional. You can uncheck these checkboxes if you don't want to send information to Epson and click next. Make sure the printer is turned on and you finish filling all of the ink tanks. Check this checkbox and click next. Now it's downloaded drivers, downloading software. So uh, this is a smart application. It makes everything for you. Now it's looking for your printer. It will be easy because you will just edit the printer to the system and you won't have problems with this. So the printer is found. Click on that. Click Next. And the setup will be automatically from this moment. Just follow these instructions on the screen. So uh, now you need to select which software you wish to install. Software updater is already installed on my computer, so this is dimmed. Uh, so I don't need Epson Photo, I don't need manuals, but I need scanner utilities to scan documents from my computer. And Epson Scan Smart, I recommend you to install this application because it's pretty good for beginners at least. Uh, and I don't need support utilities, so let me install. So the setup is finished and you can print the test page right away or uh, just Click Next to finish setup and print something later. For Mac users, you just need to install Epson Software Updater. The printer will be automatically detected in your system and you need to select your product from this list. Uh, click on Refresh and it is checking for software updates. And you will have two tables. Uh, well, the first one is essential product updates. I recommend you to install everything from here and recommend it software so you can consider if you need it or just install and experiment with this software and uh, uninstall if you don't need it. So click on install two items. This is the Windows computer, but on Mac computers the process is pretty same. Yes, yes, install. Agree to the license agreement. OK and everything is installed. Now you confidently can print from any application that allows you to do it. Uh, just open the app, select a thing you wish to print, let's say an email, let's say this one, then find the uh, printer icon or the print word in some menu depending on the application. Click on that. It takes you to the printing dialog. Make sure your printer is selected here. I won't go through all printing settings because they pretty much depend on your needs. So you can experiment with these settings and you have pretty much pretty good preview over here. Don't forget to set the number of copies, first of all, and your paper size. This is the basic settings. And once you're done, just click on print and wait for the paper from your printer. To scan documents, you need to have a scanning application on your computer or smartphone, and you've just installed Epson Scan Smart on the printer setup. So you can open this application. It also uh, have lots of settings. Uh, you can s uh, customize document scanning mode. You can create your own presets. I won't go through all these settings as well because a lot of them over here. So you have to experiment and you can use the preview feature to not scan right away, but to see just what you do in here uh, and save presets over here. Now, uh, don't forget to save your settings each time. Each time you're done, also you can switch to just automatic mode or photo mode without customization. Uh, enable photo enhancements, customize your actions you perform after the scanning, uh, rename your documents automatically, saving settings for different file formats, and so on. Uh, so once you're done, you just, you just place your document in the scanning unit and click on the scan tile. For the correct document placement, use this arrow as a guidance. It's pointing to the bottom right corner of the scanning surface. So you need to align the top left corner of your document. 
with this arrow and put your document facing down like this and fit snugly to the borders of the scanning surface and just click on scan or tap on scan in smartphone application and wait for the result uh, right away you can add more pages to your scan first uh, place the next page and only after this click on the scan button uh, then you can reorder the pages like this delete rotate crop your pages and once you're done just click on next and select one of these actions uh, let's say you want to save to your file system you can rename your document from here select file type pdf or maybe searchable pdf uh, select folder for your documents and click on save and right away it opens the folder with your documents but we still have a couple important topics more to discuss in this video and the first one is Wi-Fi direct if you want to enable this feature in this printer and connect directly without connection to a shared networks uh, you need just press Wi-Fi and information buttons together once like this now the indicators are taking turns and blinking and the lower indicator uh, should start glowing solid it means Wi-Fi direct is on and just like now uh, to find your default Wi-Fi direct password you need just open this lid on the front panel and your password is on this label if in some reason this password doesn't work you always can print uh, the network information to do this you need to press and hold the information button until you hear sounds from inside of the printer and printer starts printing let's do it just don't release the button until you hear the sound that's it now the printer will give you three pages and actually you need only the first one for this purpose That's it. Once you've got this page, you can press cancel to stop uh, printing another two pages. You don't need them. And on this page, you have the full information about your internet connection, including shared network, Wi-Fi direct network. Here's your network name or SSID and your password. And also important information is your public IP address and direct IP address. You may need to use it if you need to uh, change Wi-Fi direct password or other settings uh, of your printer in the web interface so now to connect any device to the printer directly you just need to open your wi-fi network list find the printer's network name click on that connect and enter that password from that page but keep in mind when you connect it to the printer directly you are disconnected from the internet so uh, if this is your only connection method you will not be able to set up the printer using uh, Epson setup software so first I recommend you to establish shared Wi-Fi connection with your home or office network and after this enable uh, Wi-Fi direct when you set up your printer completely if you need to change your Wi-Fi direct network name or password, you need to use a web browser and enter the printer's IP address from that page in the search bar. Uh, if you connect it to the printer directly, uh, then you need to enter a direct IP address. So uh, do this, hit enter and it takes you to the web interface of your printer. You need to log in as administrator and the default administrator password is the same one uh, from the lid from the label on the lid so you need to enter this password then click ok i don't want to save it right now and switch to advanced settings over here now in the left panel find system settings or sorry services and click on wi-fi direct and here is your network name you can rename it uh, spaces are not allowed you can just use high pants and change your password then click on next and OK to confirm your changes the printer will restart and your changes will be applied one more thing to tell you about if in some reason you weren't able to connect the printer via WPS you will have this additional step in the Epson installer application uh, you have to select connection via wireless network manually uh, then click next 
and now select your Wi-Fi network you wish to connect this printer to it can detect only 2.4 gigahertz or dual band networks the password is entered automatically check if it's correct then click next now look at your wi-fi indicators if they flash in simultaneously together uh, this is an error and you need to press the wi-fi button to fix this error uh, if they are turned off just click next and on this step make the thing you're familiar with just press and hold the wi-fi button until you see the blinking indicators and taking turns release the button and the printer will connect to your Wi-Fi network and the other steps are the ones you're already familiar with. The same thing on smartphone, if you're not connecting your printer with a WPS, tap on set up a new product or create a new Wi-Fi connection and it takes you to something like dialogue with AI. The difference is you will not get an instruction to press and hold the Wi-Fi button, so do it before starting that dialogue. So like this, press, as always, wait for Wi-Fi indicators release and continue in the application actually it's pretty safe self-explaining so just follow the instructions on the screen select your printer and you will easily connect the product to wi-fi in few steps wi-fi connection settings each time you see next just tap on next you don't have to read anything this is just useless information actually so on this step you need to enter the product password this is that password from the product label over there okay uh, next select your wi-fi network yes once again yes next 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 yes next your Wi-Fi password okay yes so all you have to do is press yes and next actually next close this window and you're all set well guys that's all i wanted to share with you in this video and this is pretty much everything you need to know about connecting this printer to wi-fi i hope this video was helpful if yes consider to subscribe to our channel uh, hit the like button to support us any questions comment below and be awesome see you in the next videos